What's up guys? It's Game Storms here. I'm coming at you today with something I want to talk about within Gears of War Ultimate Edition. Um, I want to talk about the playing online system, the way they have it set up. I don't like how they have competitive. Like, I understand competitive. Competitive is for the more skilled players. You're supposed to go in there and actually try to win the match and do you the best you can and you're gonna face other people that are, are doing just the same and that social is just for if you're trying to just goof off have fun or if you're new to the game and you don't really know what you're doing of course go in there and play that but I don't like what they did with it like I don't know if they set it up because if in competitive gears only a certain only certain maps can be played or what but I don't like it. Like, I, I typically just play TDM now. Like, I used to be a big King of the Hill player, but I'm not anymore. I just play TDM. But I can't play all the maps because I play competitive. And they don't have all the maps on competitive. They only have like 9 or 10 of the 20 maps. Or t well, there's 19 maps. Number 20 is on the 2v2 Nasher. But they only have half the maps in competitive. If I want to play the other maps, which I want to because they're good maps I have to go play social but social is just oh, yeah. scrubby people and I don't want to play social I want to play competitive I want my rank to be moved up on the leaderboard because there is nothing for social leaderboards it's only ranked leaderboards which I do think they should make a social leaderboard but whatever so I, I just don't like that they cut half the maps on competitive like I don't understand why they would do that like why would they cut half the maps in competitive and like let's say let's say this like I like to play the map gold rush okay map gold rush is I like it it's a cool map but the first what two days I owned Gears ultimate I never played on gold rush because I was like well, what the hell why do we keep getting the same shitty maps and then I went on social because I figured social was going to be the same as Gears 3 where they would put a bot in if not everybody was in and blah 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 blah. But it's not like that. So I finally got on Gold Rush and I was, I was like, wow, this is dumb. And then I later found out that if you play King of the Hill competitive, you could get Gold Rush in your playlist because that's, I guess, one of the competitive maps for King of the Hill. Which I don't understand. Each, each and every map is competitive in its own rights and could be put in every playlist every game mode and still be competitive like gold rush isn't that ba big of a map and everything so I don't understand why certain maps are just set to a certain game mode and can't go out of it unless you go to social I don't know I think this is stupid to me I think that they need to fix it they need to put all the maps in competitive just so well except for boxes but they need to put all the maps into competitive so that you can play them all the time because if I want to play the other maps it kind of forces me to go play social and I don't want to play social I want to stay on competitive to bring my leaderboard stats up and I will talk in another video about the leaderboards because that is another problem of which I have. But that's all I wanted to talk about today, guys. Um, the gameplay, the background is probably almost over, so I'm going to let you continue watching that. Um, but in the comments down below, tell me your thoughts on the competitive and social matchmaking. If you think maps should be o come over to competitive, all of them, or they shouldn't, or your reasons why or at least tell me the reason why it's like that because I I would like to know but anyway don't forget to like and subscribe peace